And, oh, I'm live! Hello, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for coming to the Korea Walgreen panel. Walgreen. All righty. So, a few quick things, as always. Please turn off your cell phones or set them to silent. If you do need to take a call, take it outside the live programming rooms. I was told uh, recording and photography is okay. So take pictures, get your memories. And now, she has a very long bio. Please bear with me, but it's all really good stuff. All oh, right, <laughs> let's try this out. But it sounds all good. Ready? Ready. Our Walgreen is thrilled to be appearing at Anime Expo. Anime audience were first introduced to, to Walgreen as Vesper writing, guitar bashing, Huckle and FLCL. Since then, she has played a number of anime roles, including Kakami in Lucky Star, Saida in Blood Plus, Robin in Witch Hunter Robin. Kakami has also done voice work for a number of video games. Walgreen is currently portraying Elita in oh, Prince of Persia. And she is also the voice of Ash of Final Fantasy XII! So please give another round of applause for Kata Walgreen! From here on out, I leave the presentation to Ms. Walgreen and I'll come up as the evil time villain I already am. Thank you. <laughs> This is so funny. I I uh, was walking up to the door and I was like, oh, they must be finishing some sort of panel and I wonder what's going on in there. And then I walked in and you guys were here to see me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's, uh, that is so that is so awesome. I, I really really appreciate it. And um, I. <laughs> <laughs> um, so usually, I mean, with, with panels like this, I, I would much rather just take your questions instead of kind of talking about myself. Um, so I don't know if there's a, a microphone or something, and, and you it's guys coming can... up right now. There we go. I guess while they're, while they're getting that set up, I can I can tell you just a, a little bit about how I got to to where I am right now. Um, I grew up in Kansas, actually, so um, I'm, I'm kind of a small town gal, and um, I always really liked cartoons from an early age. Um, people ask me a lot if I was a big fan of anime, and it was something I kind of came to a little bit later. Um, I watched a lot of Dragon Ball Z, but the problem with that is that you know I got interested in the show, and so I would say, Okay, I just have to watch to the end of this episode to see who wins this fight. <laughs> okay, I just need to watch to the end of this episode and see who wins this fight. And the worst part was when they would do the marathons, the all-day marathons. I would lose days at a time, just sucked in and, and watching that show. So I was a fan of that. I was a fan of uh, Eon Flux. Um, I, I was going to say, I haven't been able to bring myself to watch the movie yet because I, I haven't heard really good things about it. Getting some, oh, I'm getting some thumbs down. So, um, but yeah, so there was just this um, this basic audition call in uh, in a trade publication that said we're casting for this um, cartoon, and I'd always wanted to do cartoons. Um, so I went and auditioned for this, and they said, "Have you ever done any anime before?" And I said, "Well, no, no, uh, you know, I'm not really familiar with that." So they they sent me home with a videotape. They said, "Don't worry, it's all in Japanese." You're not going to be able to really understand what's going on, but we just want to see if you can kind of capture the essence of this character. So I kind of watched it, and it was this kind of fun, crazy character, and you know, I couldn't understand what she was saying, but she was all over the place. And 
So I went in and did the audition and, and, and went back for a second audition and they said, are you willing to learn how to, uh, to sync things up to picture? Which is basically, we, we put you in this room and every single line we're going we're gonna to have you watching a TV and, and match it up. And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to learn. I'd love to. <laughs> Gosh, if you can cast me, I'll work extra hard. Um, so they said, well, great, we'd love to cast you. We're doing this little project called FLCL. And that's <laughs> That's our first time they did, I guess. And, and kind of the famous story about that, and my friends still tease me about it, is we were working on the show and getting towards the end of, of doing it, and one of the gals was saying, oh my gosh, you know, they're going to love you at the conventions, the fans are going to be so excited, and I was like, we have fans? <laughs> yeah, so they, to this day, they, they kind of give me a hard time about that, but it, it's, it's been kind of a, a really fascinating uh, world to, to uh, discover and and uh, I've met some really cool people. So anyway, that was that was kind of my start in uh, in uh, in anime. And I see two or three people sitting down because that was their question. Okay. Uh, okay. So let me uh, open the floor and, and start telling you guys what you want to know. Uh, thank you, Carmen. You rock. Thank you. Um, I remember, I think you once said in an interview with uh, Anime Insider that on Samurai Champloo you always liked how we got to hang around two really hot samurai and Mugen and Jean. So I was wondering if you could like date any like anime character. Jean, Jean, Jean. Uh, you know, people are always like, you know, who, who would you want to sit down with and um, I'm like, well, Almond's really hot from Witch and a Robin, too. But yeah, Jean is my is my big anime crush, and whenever I see guys cosplaying as him, I'm like, ah, can't get my picture taken with you. <laughs> and there were, and there were two guys yesterday that were dressed as Jean and Mugen, and I don't think that they knew who, who I was, but I was like, can I get my picture taken with you guys? Because you're dressed up and it's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, Jean. Did I, did I mention Jean? <laughs> um, hi. I'm hi. a huge fan of Pudi Pudi. Oh, thank you. And I'm a, I'm a huge fan of High Ball. And I have a lot of questions with me with me. So, I wanted to, I wanted to ask, um, how much of Haruko's personality have you incorporated into yourself? Uh, <laughs> uh, I definitely think uh, we both have those really high energy moments, but the thing I like about that character is she really is all over the place, and so she's got her tender moments, and you know when she's when she's talking to Takun about how to swing the bat and everything. I think that's such a lovely scene, and yeah. so uh, I, I guess her bipolarism. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, peace out, my sister. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sure. Hi, um, Hi, I've been a fan of you since FLCO, but my favorite role, and I'm kind of surprised it wasn't mentioned, was Nova from Super Robot Monkey Thank Team. Thank you! Oh, can you say, um, Boom Boom Wake Up for all the Super Robot fans? Yeah, alright, alright. Boom Boom Wake Up! Fuck, crash your cars are safe to go! Thank you. 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 I was so pissed when Disney canceled that. It was, it was a sad day. Actually, you know, there's a really cool story about that, though, because one of the first times that I went in to record that show, the creator of the show was wearing an FLCL t-shirt. Nice. And I, I said, oh, do you like that show? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's this anime show. And I was like, well, I, I mean, I don't usually say this, but I actually did the voice for Hanuko. And he said, oh, my God, you're kidding. That show was like one of my biggest artistic influences and uh, it was one of the things that made him become an animator, so it was a cool... cool well, it was story. funny, because I saw it around the same time as FLCL, so that's when I started getting into your career, and I followed your career from those to Charmcaster on Ben 10, to Duplicate oh, Girl thanks. on Disney Heroes, to Sony on Ninja Gaiden, to G to No More Hero. <laughs> like, Thank you! Um, my question is actually about the voice acting. Um, you've done a lot of voice acting, but have you ever considered becoming a writer, doing some kind of writing, or a voice director? Um, you know, I... Maybe one day I would I would look at directing, but I'm so happy doing what I'm doing right now that um, you know until they start kicking me out of the studio, I'm gonna just uh, keep with the voice acting. So cool. thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. 
Hi, Harry. Hi. I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you, I'm so glad. I got two questions. Okay. Out of all your anime series, what's the best voice character you've voiced? Um, as far as my favorite? Yeah. Oh, that's the toughest question. I keep thinking of a good answer for that one. Um, and, I, and I can never limit it to just one. But I, I would say that Emma Frost. <laughs> Bring up the next person. <laughs> 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 